Hello, beautiful people. I'm doing a TikTok right now. I love it. It's so cute. How is everyone doing? It's been a while since I've done a little bit of a life update. So I figured I'd do one of these with a little bit of a twist. Yeah, my hairs are kind of a little crazy, but it's fine. We love them for who they are. But I thought I'd do this in a little twist since this is a series video. We're going to give you a little bit of a life update as an adult. I've lived out in college for the last year and a half. I have been home for a while, really working, really trying to just settle in and keep going with my life, try to progress, you know, since I've been at college and in college I've been progressing a lot and like starting my own life. Coming back home can be really challenging because you have to get used to their rules, you have to like respect your parents and what they ask. Everyone's a little different though, so I know sometimes it's not super hard. For me it's just been hard. My parents have been great. This summer and this time I was able to actually live in here in this room which has helped a ton because I have my own space I feel like I can really like get stuff going and then I'm a little more independent my parents don't really check up on me all the time however they do expect me to respect their rules their boundaries their house like plans and rules and stuff and their schedules which I do we both keep each other's schedule very well because I have my own things that I do like tutoring or my friends want to talk to me all the time stuff like that and so we're able to work around each other so it's been great but I wanted to do a little bit of a life update let you guys know what's going on. So I asked my Instagram for questions. So I asked you guys for questions and we're gonna answer them. First question. Hey Clay, I just wanted to know, how do you stay so positive always? I feel like this is a question that always comes up. Let me tell you, first of all, I'm not positive always. I have mental breakdowns all the time. I have like blocks where I just, I don't wanna film. I don't wanna do anything. I just wanna sit and I want to relax, you know, not have to do hard things. And especially, for me, it's really hard to stay positive when, like, I'm working super hard for my channel and it's not doing anything. It's not, like, growing. It's not getting the payback that I feel like I've been imagining it'll get, right? Like, I'm not getting as many views as I imagined I would get. That is so hard to stay positive with. But I feel like one thing is just being great, grateful. Like, and giving my, like, being grateful for what I have in the day. But also, not only that, but being grateful for what I was able to accomplish in the day. Like, kind of giving myself a pat on the back. You know, you have to reward yourself every once in a while, or else you just get burnt out all the time. And I'm saying this because I need to hear this more so than you guys probably do, because I'm doing that right now. I've had a ton of times where I have made these goals, and then I succeed those goals, and I'm like, oh, Clay, like, you obviously should have done, like, so much more than that. I think I've explained this in videos before, but it's a struggle. It's hard for sure. But I just try to be grateful. I try to be mindful and give myself breaks all the time and just give myself pats on the back, you know, just like kind of compliment myself and be like, Clay, you look great today or like be have that positive attitude. You know what I mean? Another question. How are you doing? You know, thank you for asking that. A lot of people, you forget to just ask those basic like, how are you doing? How have you been? You know, I've been doing good. Honestly, I've been struggling a lot because there's so many big changes happening right now, but we're doing good. We're saying trying to stay positive. We're trying to look at the benefits and the good things that can come out of this and it's helped a lot. Honestly, I wish I was back at college right now more than anything. I love college. It's not that I don't like being at home, but I just, I love my life out there. I love my friends. I'm just surrounded by people my age or people that are a little older than me. I have complete freedom. That also means I get consequences, but like I'm learning so much. It's just great because my brain's always actively like thinking, doing, whereas here I like have more breaks or I'm like, and it's easier for me to just get into a autopilot mode because I'm just like mom just please tell me what to do like literally give me a list and I'll do it I can't make my own decisions right now so learning to do that has been a little harder but it's been good it's been great how are you guys doing let me know in the comments I want to know how you're doing how your summer was how you're doing maybe adjusting to a new grade or new friends like how are you guys doing what are your summer must-haves clothes food choices water I have never drinking so much water in my life because I've finally gotten used to living in Virginia where it's humid, but coming back here, like I've come and visited and I've stayed here like last summer, then winter break, then summer again. But man, is it a struggle. Like I got home for the first two weeks, I swear I had like a sinus infection. I couldn't breathe out of my nose. I was like having the worst clogged noses. I would like blow my nose, you know, but then it'd still get full of junk. And like, I could like my throat, the back of my throat was killing me. I always sounded stuffed and congested. It was so terrible. So this is also a good thing to know because I definitely am going to move back to Virginia because I actually really need and enjoy the humidity. My lips, my skin, like 
it's like give me humidity so we're gonna start cleaning a little bit actually now that we talked about water i need to go get some water so i'll be right back I'm starting to feel a headache coming on. I'm like Superman with kryptonite. Getting headaches is my kryptonite. That is the cheesiest thing I think I've ever said. Okay, it says another question. Everyone, okay, everyone always asks if I am dating Jothan. I want you guys to answer that for yourself. Think really hard. All of my posts of him randomly disappeared at one point. Everything on his account deleted. Yes, we broke up a while ago. We broke up in December of 2021. And I honestly can say that I'm doing much better. There's definitely times where I'm dating different guys. Okay, let me know if this is how you guys are. I'm gonna be real honest with you guys. I was actually like in love with Jothan. Like he was an incredible guy, still is. But the timing just wasn't right. Things weren't working out for us and he needed to focus on his mission and I need to, to focus on my mission and we decided to part ways. We're not sure what's gonna happen when I go back to college. We'll see. Um, I'm not holding much to that like I don't I'm not holding a lot of hope towards that just because I know that I know my worth I know that I can find someone super incredible he was really incredible but I think I can find someone even more incredible for the way I will have grown and become when I get back so but I'm definitely get, doing good you know we're doing great are you ready for your mission and what is the hardest part of leaving home for it I feel like that in and of itself it answers itself honestly for me it's leaving behind you guys like that's been really hard because this is where I make my money this is what I've been doing YouTube since I was 11 years old it's definitely trying to leave this behind and have enough faith and trust that it can all work out so that's been really hard I know that my family's still gonna be here and I've left for college for 18 months, basically, and so I'm just doing that again. I think it's just leaving behind my work. I'm also a perfectionist, so like giving this to somebody else's hands and trusting that they can do exactly what I'm imagining and hoping for really scares me. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. The hardest part of being the oldest sibling, I am the oldest also. Twins, let's go. Boom. Being the guinea pig. Now, I wouldn't complain. No, yeah. <sighs> I was going to say, I wouldn't like complain that it's like the worst thing ever. It's hard because it's my parents. Like, I'm the first child for my parents. Like, this is the first time I'm seeing this type of a path. Do you know what I mean? Like, for my other siblings, obviously their paths are going to be a little bit different. However, they still have my example of like, oh, Clay did this, this, and this, and got this, this, and this, like, happened to her. I'm going to avoid that now. Whereas I don't have somebody, I don't have an oldest sibling to kind of be a buffer and to kind of use as a roadmap. Whereas my siblings can use that. And not even... Like, it doesn't even have to be just for good things. Like, there's a lot of things that I made mistakes on that they can be like, oh, like, I'm going to learn from that and I'm going to make changes. So, I think that's what Raquel's been doing. So, that's the hardest part. However, I do get to go through it first, so I get to get over it. Get over with it. Do you know what I mean? Instead of watching all my siblings do it and then me finally... Like, I can't even imagine where Cora, she gets to watch five siblings go through the things that she's going through or the things we're going through and then, like, eventually she gets to it. However, I think it'll be easier for her by then. But you know what? Rules are rules. Fairness is not a thing. So, that's just how it is and I have gained an acceptance for that. This is a funny question. Do you have a crush? You know... I'm starting to really get confused at the whole feelings thing because after Jothan, I went on dates a ton. Like I went on at least 10 dates with dudes. I really actively and openly was trying to get to know people, try to make sure I knew exactly what I wanted because I knew this was the one time period where I would have complete, fr not freedom, but freedom. Like it's not like once, once I date someone, I have no freedom, but like I had this whole time of complete open-mindedness, we're doing really good at words today. And I knew when I came back from my mission, it was kind of more so looking for marriage, kind of. Like, obviously I can choose that if I want, but I knew that that's, that was down the road. And that was pretty quickly after my mission. And so I knew that this semester was my time to be a single, my time to just experience everything. And I really did. Honestly, I, if there's one thing I could recommend to you, it's experience college to the to its fullest, seriously. Live every single day like it's your last. Meet new people, like get out of your comfort zone. It's fun and it's seriously, I have grown, I've seen so much more progress and growth in this last semester. I think I've really started to gain my own opinion and really just learn how I want to do life. You know what I mean? Oh, I could literally rant about this all day long. It's my favorite thing in the world. Wow, I went on a fun tangent. The question was, who do you have a crush? 
Anyways, I dated a lot of people, but I didn't have that same feeling I did with him. Me and Jothan connected instantly. Like, he walked, I remember when he walked through the door to come and hang out with my apartment and all of his friends. Like, that's when our group really started was there. We played signs every single day. It was fantastic. But that moment, like, it clicked immediately. We started talking and we started hanging out and it just worked right away, you know? I never felt that with another dude. They were all great in their own ways, but they had their things that I was just like, mm. I just was meh about them all, you know? And maybe that's just because I wasn't in the place and it wasn't the right time to start dating a dude. And so, like, emotionally, I wasn't ready. I think that's what I had. I had the mindset of, no, I'm going to be single and I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going to, like, date around instead of having a more marriage dating mindset. I don't know. Long story short, to answer your question, I do not have a crush. But I do think a lot of dudes are cute all the time. I'm like, oh, you're cute. I want to try dating you. I talk to them and I'm like, oh, never mind. Actually, just kidding. Not because they aren't bad or anything, but it's just because I'm like, oh, never mind. I don't want that for me. So, anyways. I think my parents are here. So, we're going to start filming. And that's going to be in another video. So, watch for that. I'll come back in a little bit. Clean. We'll keep talking to you, but I'll see you guys later. And we're back. Okay, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I... <laughs> I downloaded Mutual um, while I was back in Virginia just for the fun of it. I was like, why not? I'm not having a boyfriend. Let's have fun. Again, this is all part of the whole YOLO thing that I did. I, I was obviously going to BV where it is the smallest thing in the world, right? The town is tiny. So everyone that like I swiped on and like we actually started talking, I knew who they were because they were at my college. Anyways, this dude just messaged me and it was so weird. I'm not going to tell you because that's just embarrassing. But anyways. Okay, we're going to answer a few more questions. I'm kind of enjoying this whole questionnaire thingy. How's your mental health? Okay, you guys are the sweetest. I love you guys all so much. Um, I'm doing pretty good. I think I've talked about this before, how like I just need to work on making goals and then when I accomplish them, like rewarding myself, or not even rewarding myself, but just like giving myself that pat on the back. But I think I've been doing pretty good about it. Am I talking to anyone? I sadly am not. I'm talking to lots of people. Nothing serious at all. It's like a almost potential at the beginning and then I cop out because I'm like, oh, never mind. I just, I don't think I'm in the headspace and place to actually have a relationship. You know what I mean? Emotionally, like I'm mentally and emotionally stable enough for it, but I think I'm enjoying this being single life of just messing around and just going and having fun that I don't want one right now or I'm not even like looking for that and like really having the patience for it. What is your favorite thing to do in your free time work? <laughs> I really, really love creating content for you guys and I think working like is something that I love doing and it keeps me busy too. But other than that, I love spending time with my family. I love like finding things off of Pinterest to like work on my mental health kind of. Should I focus on my dreams first and then a boyfriend? My friends say opposite. Totally. I'm all for it. Me and Reese have talked about this a ton, how I think it's great to work towards your dreams, work towards those things you want to work on in yourself and I think the right person will come at the right time and be able to match up with that kind of. I don't know, that's just my thought, my theory. Now, obviously there's gotta be a little give and take do you know what I mean? Like, you obviously can take so much, but you gotta give so much as well. And that's something I'm working on right now. That's why things haven't worked very well, because I am so set in my ways, and I'm so set in, I want this, this, this to happen, this, this, and this. And if it's not perfectly lined up with that, then I just kick it to the curb. Okay, I think that's gonna be the end. There's a little life update on where I'm at, um, what's been going on. I kind of am enjoying these. If you guys really enjoy these life updates, these question and answer videos, just these sit down chit chats, you know? Give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments maybe some other life update or versions of this video you wanna see. And I will see you guys later.